Hi, my name is Tatiana and my channel is created by Lady T. And today I am going to show you how to crochet this wonderful shamrock scarf that you can wear on St. Patrick's Day. It's a really cool scarf. It's very different. It's made with 10 little four leaf clovers. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, so what you're going to need is a cro an N size crochet hook, size N needle crochet hook like this. You need a stitch marker like that. You need some green yarn and you need two colors. So this is a free um, pattern I'm using by Lion Brand and um, the colors um, is by Hometown USA. That's the type of, um, that's the type of yarn and um, the colors that they have is Oklahoma City Green and um, they also have uh, another Green Bay. So those are the colors they have um, for this project. Now they do have a little diagram of the four leaf clovers and how you're going to stitch them at the end. So you will need one of these um, needles like this. They're long needles and um, to stitch these four leaf clovers together. And um, you, you would need one of these needles that have these huge eyes. You see the eye of the needle is really big to fit the yarn through. So those are the supplies that you will need. You also need a pair of scissors. All right, this pattern is on my description link. It's a free um, pattern and I'm going to show you how to make um, the leaves. So you're going to make 10 of these individually and you're going to make them in different colors. You can make five and five or you can make them all in the same color if you want. So I'm going to show you how to make the first leaf and then you can um, continue and do the rest on your own. So um, this is what um, so, um, first what we're going to do. All right. So the, um, the pattern says to start with making, um, a chain of two. So two chain. So here we go. We take our crochet needle and we're going to make a chain of two chain one and two. Okay. And then you're going to place a stitch marker at the second chain. So that's what we're gonna do. Place a stitch marker like so. Okay, so for the row one, we're going to put in two single crochets in the first single crochet. So one, and two. Just like so. Okay, and then the next single crochet, you're gonna put in another single crochet, two of them. So you all, you'll have a total of four. So that's one and two. So I hold on to the tail so it doesn't get in my way. So you have, at the end of the row, you'll have four single crochets. And then the next row, what you're going to do is you're going to chain one and you're going to do six because we're increasing here. So you're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch. So that's one and two. And then one single crochet in the next two stitches. So that's three, four. And then you're going to do four single crochets in the, I mean, two single crochets in the last single crochet. So that's one. So it's kind of hard to hold these little things. So you have to be kind of careful too. So you have a total of six single crochets. So you see that your leaf is getting bigger. And what you're gonna do um, in the next three row rows is you're just going to do single crochet across. So you're going to take, you're gonna go into each one and you're just going to do a single crochet. So that's one, two, 
three, four, five, six. Chain one, and then a, six more again. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So one more. Chain one. And then one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so we're gonna increase in the next row. So you're gonna chain one. And so instead of six, it's going to be eight. So the first single crochet, you're gonna do two single crochets, one and two. And then you're gonna do one single crochet until you get to the last single crochet. So one, 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 one. And on the last single crochet, you're gonna do two single crochets in the same single crochet. So that's one and two. So now we have eight spaces. And what we're gonna do with the eight spaces, I'll just get some more yarn here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do another three rows of just single crochet in the eight spaces. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two more of this row, of, of just single crochets, two more rows. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, now I'm gonna do one last row of eight across. So just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so the next row um, is the last row of the leaf, and this next row, you're going to put some shape into the leaf. So you're gonna chain one, you're going to skip the first chain, and you're going to, in the next chain, in the next space here, right here, you're gonna do a single crochet, and then a double crochet, I mean, a half double, a half double crochet in the same space, and then a double crochet, like so. Then, in the space right next to it, you're gonna do another double crochet, half double, and then a single, just like so. So the leaf starts to take shape. Then you're going to um, slip stitch in the next stitch, which looks like this, you slip stitch. In the next stitch, you're gonna chain one, and you're going to skip this crochet, 
this next stitch, you're gonna skip it. And then you're going to do that shaping again. So you're gonna do single, half double, and double. And then you're going to do it again in the next stitch, a double crochet, a half a double, and a single, like so. And then you're going to slip stitch in the last stitch here, like so, slip stitch. And then you're going to slip stitch all the way down to the end of the leaf. So you've got one leaf here like this, and you're going to slip stitch all the way down to the end of the leaf. And you're going to actually just do the whole process over again um, by going into that first. Now I took my stitch marker off, but I know where it, it's supposed to be. And I'm going to do another two double crochet, one and two, like so. I've got two double crochets. I, I um, uh, uh, take a chain and then I'm going to put two double crochets in the first double crochet and then two double crochets in the next double crochet. So then it goes back into the same pattern and then you create another leaf and you do you make four of these and you make 10 all together and we'll put them together in the next video. So it's a very easy pattern if you know how to crochet. So you see, you just keep going the way you went here you can just keep going the same way. All right, so we're at the second leaf and we're going to be doing the second leaf right now. So I've already done four, four um, single crochets. I'm gonna chain one and then the next row, I'm going to be doing, in the next row, I'm going to be making six. So the first, chain, I'm going to make two single crochet, and then I'm going to make one single crochet. So that's three, four, and then the last one, I'm going to put two single crochets in the last one. One, and two. Okay, so I've got six single crochets here. I'm gonna make a chain and I'm going to go in here and do one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this one was kind of ratty, but I fixed it. I'll fix it right now. So I'll do two more rows of this where I just go straight with six single crochets. So that's a chain and then one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got six and I'm gonna do one more row of single crochet with six in the stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so you see I'm increasing my leaf 
And then the next row, we're gonna um, continue increasing by two more stitches. So we're gonna do a total of eight. So the first stitch, we're gonna do um, two single crochet. And really um, watch the, um, make sure that you keep up with the pattern so that you know where we're at. So we're actually on um, row five. So that's what we're working on right now. So that's one, two, and three, four, five, six, and then the last stitch we're gonna put in two, so seven and eight. So we've increased in the, in we've what we've done is we've increased the first stitch and we've increased in the second stitch and increase just means by adding another stitch it's just a fancy word for that so now we're going to do three rows the next three rows we're going to do eight stitches across so chain one and then there's one two three four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have two rows more to do of this. So I just chained one again really quickly. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, and then I'm gonna do one more row of eight across. See how it's getting nice and big, it's increasing and the um, leaf is t starting to take place and you've already got two leaves. So it's kind of cool. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so you chain one, and then the last row is to make the shape of the leaf. So you've chained one, you skip the first um, single crochet, and in the next single crochet, you make a single crochet, a half double, so a half double looks like this. So that's single, a half double, you turn, um, you turn over, yarn over, <laughs> yarn over, and you pull up a loop and you've got three on your loop and you yarn over and you pull through all three loops. And that's a half double crochet. A double crochet is yarn over, pull through the loop. You've got three, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over again, pull through two, and that's a double crochet. So I'll show you how to do the double crochet again. Yarn over, pull through the loop. You've got three on the loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two, that's a double crochet. For a half a double crochet, it's yarn over, pull through the loop, and you've got three on your loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. And then the last one is single crochet, which is pull through the loop, you've got two, yarn over, and pull through the loop. So the next stitch, you're going to um, do what is called, um, uh, you, you just uh, do this kind of a deal. You just go through in there. So sl slit stitch. That's a slit stitch. And then you're gonna chain one, you're going to skip the next one, and then you're going to do that um, this whole pattern over again with single, half double, 
double, and then the next stitch, you're going to start with the double, Let's go through both of the stitches, half double, and then single. So you're, you're doing it in two stitches, and then the last stitch, you're going to slip stitch into the stitch, and then you're going to slip stitch all the way down the leaf, like so. See, we've gone down to the leaf, down the leaf. My hand may be in the way. I just, you're slip stitching all the way down to the leaf, to the end of the leaf. I took my stitch marker off, but you can keep it on. I just know where it's supposed to be. And then you just start all over again with the same process and you make two more. And then once you finish, you just cut it off and then you'll have, you'll do for 10. So here's my shamrock scarf, all nice and completed. And um, I'm gonna wear it on St. Patrick's Day and you can see all the leaves are nice and completed and um, they're flowing and they're really beautiful and it's a nice lucky scarf to wear on St. Patrick's Day. If you like this channel and you like my projects, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.